Dear students, now I am going to explain solar cell experiment viva question and answer. So before watching this video, please watch the basics of semiconductor, formation of PN junction, forward and reverse biasing also. So that you can understand this working principle of solar cell easily. Okay, let us get into the video. First, what is a solar cell. A solar cell is also known as photovoltaic cell. Okay, if you take the first letter of photovoltaic P and V, it can also be termed it as PV cell. In short form, solar cell is also known as PV cell. What is this PV cell or solar cell? Actually, it is a device. It is an electrical device. When the light is falling on that, especially sunlight, when the light is falling on that, this device converts into electrical energy converts into electrical energy so this is called solar cell so solar cell is an electrical device that converts light energy into electrical energy by using the principle of photovoltaic effect okay photovoltaic effect and then solar cell is basically pn junction okay so solar cell is made up of pn junction only so already we have idea about pn junction so to understand this please watch that videos pn junction diode formation and what is pn junction is nothing but p type and n type semiconductor so you must watch the basics of semiconductor and its types and the formation of pn junction so that you will get the clear idea about the solar cell i'll give the link in the description box next what is photovoltaic effect the photovoltaic effect is a process that generates voltage or electric current in a photovoltaic cell when it is exposed to sunlight this is the principle okay the photovoltaic effect is nothing but when the sunlight is falling on the device it converts into electrical energy so this is called the photovoltaic effect it is the basic principle for the working of solar cell Next question is, what is the working principle of solar cell? Now you see, this is the solar cell, which is made up of P-type and N-type semiconductor. Generally, we are using silicon, okay, silicon material, P-type and N-type. In the middle, it forms the P-N junction, okay. Sunlight is falling on that and then it converts into electrical energy. So, what is the working principle? First step, only three steps we have to remember. First step is absorption of light. The junction absorbs the light and by means of absorption, it generates electrons and holes. It generates electrons and holes. Okay, so that is the first step. Absorbing the light, thereby it generates electron and hole pair. After generating, it separates. Okay, electron will move move to n side and holes will move to p side electron will move to n side and holes will move to p side so that is what the second step separation of charge carriers of opposite types okay due to the potential barrier so after that the electrons and holes the charge carriers are sent to an external circuit it will move towards the external circuit so this is what the working principle only three steps we have to remember first step is actually light is falling on that pn junction so what is happening in the pn junction first it absorbs the light thereby it generates the electron and hole pairs second step it separates the electron and holes towards the p side and the n side and the third step the separately the electrons electrons and holes will move to the external circuit that means charge carriers will move to the external circuit so this is the working principle of solar cell next question is which materials are used to manufacture solar cell so if you want to choose the material be careful about the band gap that is 1.5 electron volt band gap is nothing but valency band and higher energy band is conduction band in between the gap is band gap so this band gap should be close to 1.5 electron volt so commonly used materials are silicon gallium arsenide and cadmium telluride but especially silicon is used for making the solar cells the next question is what are the advantages of solar cell actually by using solar cell there won't be any pollution and then it must last for long lasting okay it will be existed for the long time and its maintenance will be very much less so these are the advantages no pollution lasting for long time and then no maintenance cost 
Next question is what are the disadvantages of solar cell? Actually, during installation, it will be very expensive, high cost of installation and the efficiency will be less comparatively and during cloudy day, we cannot get the solar energy. Okay, so that the energy cannot be produced and also at night, we will not get solar energy. So, these are considered as the disadvantages of the solar cell. And the next question is, what are the applications of solar cell? So, as you know, well, in satellites and the space vehicles, we are using the solar cell to get the power and then for household items, okay, by using solar panel, we are getting the power supply and generally uh, for a power to calculate, that means for the calculator, we if you want to give the power, we can use the solar cell and for wrist watches and all, right, these are the applications of solar cell. The next question is explain the VA characteristics of your solar cell. After doing the experiment, we can get the graph like this, that is voltage in x-axis and the current in y-axis. So, if you plot the graph, we will get like this, okay. So, where it meets in the x-axis is called the open circuit voltage. We will write VOC, open circuit voltage and this point is the short circuit current. The maximum current is called short circuit current. At one point, we will get the maximum power supply. So, in that place, we can mention it as the voltage at the maximum power point is called the VMP. That is maximum voltage at the maximum power. In that same way, in similar way, we can mention the current also, current at maximum point. Okay. So, this is the graph pattern we will get for solar cell. That is the VI characteristics of solar cell. Let us discuss one by one about all this uh, open circuit voltage, short circuit current and the maximum power point. Next question is explain open circuit voltage of solar cell. So, already I said solar cell is nothing but PN junction diode which is made up of silicon material. So, these two terminals, the anode and the cathode are not connected together. So, the circuit is open now. That's what it is called to open circuit. So, what is the meaning of that? The resistance will be, the resistance is high enough. That's what it is open. So, resistance will be very high. That should be represented as infinite. Okay, so now you see the maximum load is connected to PV. Maximum load in the sense resistance will be infinite. So the PV device produce maximum voltage and at the current will be zero. Okay, current will be zero. The maximum voltage is represented as open circuit voltage VOC. Okay, so this is called VOC. So during open circuit, voltage will be maximum, current will be zero. Right, once again, a when maximum load is connected, that means in that case, the resistance will be infinite. The PV device will produce maximum voltage and zero current referred to as its open circuit voltage. Next question is explain short circuit current. Okay, short circuit current is ISC. SC for short circuit, I for current. Short circuit current. So, in this case, the PN junction should be short circuited. So, the resistance will be zero. In previous case, the resistance is infinite, but here the resistance is zero. So, when the resistance is zero, current will be maximum in this case and the voltage will be minimum or zero. So, this current is represented as ISC, that is the short circuit current. Now, you read this when zero load is connected to PV device, that is the resistance is zero, the device produces maximum current and zero voltage. So, which should be referred as short circuit current. Next, explain maximum power point. Okay, actually it is the condition. It is the condition under which the solar cell generates maximum power. It generates maximum power. So, the current and the voltage in this condition is defined as IMP and VMP. Already I said IMP means current at maximum power, voltage at maximum power. So, it is the condition where the solar cell generates the maximum power. So, power is equal to voltage into current. Actually, this power is represented as maximum power point which is VMP into IMP, right? VMP into IMP. Next question is, what is the fill factor of solar cell which is represented as FF? So, the fill factor is nothing but, fill factor is equal to, here I mentioned PM, PM is nothing but maximum power point. It is the ratio of maximum power point to product of short circuit current and open circuit voltage. This is called fill factor. 
so fill factor is the ratio between product of current and voltage at a maximum power so mpp is nothing but product of vmp into imp right divided by to the product of short circuit current and open circuit voltage okay this is called the fill factor of the solar cell okay and the next question is which biasing is used in solar cell if you consider pn junction either forward or reverse biasing will be given for the working function but in case of solar cell we are not giving any external voltage okay so that we use no biasing we are not connecting this pn junction to any external voltage so the answer is no biasing for this solar cell right i hope you understand the questions so if you have any doubt please ask me in the comment section thank you everyone